Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna do something new. I rhymed just there. In a pair. And some hair. Today we're gonna do something new. It's gonna be a world's worst shirts video where we look at just some shirts. Yep. We're gonna look at people that are wearing shirts. Some of the world's worst shirts. Let's just get into it. Uh, yeah. This is World's Worst Shirts number one Rooney. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Number one Aruni. Aru do you do? I like my Jeep like I like my women. Topless and dirty. Okay. Why do your women have to be dirty? I like my women topless and covered in mud. Topless and smeared in mud. I like them smelling like a dirty foot. I remember when I was in high school, I was dating this girl and she sent her dad to pick me up one time and he had a Jeep and he was driving with like the doors off and the roof off and I thought I was going to die driving on the highway in that thing. I thought he came just to like kick me out the side on the highway and like just get rid of me so I wouldn't be dating his daughter anymore. But you know, he was actually a nice guy. Ooh, he's back. Big Dick is back in town. Is that Phoebe? on the corner it's a very pixelated picture and i'm gonna try to find a better quality version but the one i'm looking at right now very pixelated it looks like that's phoebe from friends over her shoulder not i can't remember what her name is in real life but hey big dick is back in town that is a proud old man look he's just owning it i look at that old man and he does he's got that big dick energy doesn't he your shirt says cocaine and caviar but your face says fish sticks and fentanyl what's wrong with my face my face says more like mcdonald's and chips and Coke, but like not cocaine, more like just, just Coca-Cola. Sugary, sugary drinks. That's what my face says, right? I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Oh, shit. You guys work in the street. I wonder if anyone's propositioned him on it. And he's like, no, I'm serious. Yeah, 20 bucks. 20 bucks, man. I know it looks like a funny shirt, but this is just the best way to advertise my services while I'm working the street. And then if a cop comes up, I'm like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. It's just a joke. Come on. But if you got 20 bucks, this one's kind of disgusting. Why would you want this shirt? Bin Lad in 9-11. That's the shirt you want? You want to celebrate this horrible event that happened? No, it's not like a memorial shirt. No, you're just, it's just a disgusting thing to want to wear. Not only is the person who created it a little bit disgusting, but then the person who purchases it, it's just on the same level, basically. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be supporting Bin Laden. Brain cells are evil. They must be destroyed. Yeah, that's the kind of shirt you want to be wearing when you go to buy a gun. Like, hey, my shirt implies I'm stupid. Can I have a gun? And some bullets, please. Oh no, don't worry. I'm not shooting animals. Are humans animals? This one's just... <laughs> it's sad, okay? Because you know, okay, it's a fleshlight shirt. It says fleshlight, the number one selling male sex toy in the world. And okay, where do you think he got this shirt? I mean, you didn't go out and just buy the shirt. You know this shirt probably came with the fleshlight that he bought. You couldn't even bother to buy a shirt. You're using the shirts you got from your sex toys to wear out. You can't be that strapped for cash. At least put some, some tape over it so people don't know it's a fleshlight shirt. Ugh. It's kind of funny that you would have a shirt advertising that because you think like the people who make the toy wouldn't think people would want to be advertising that they use it on their shirt. You'd think you'd just send them like a black shirt with a logo or something. That's, that's, it's weird. Maybe he works for the company. Maybe he's the inventor of it. Maybe this guy's a billionaire and I'm making fun of a billionaire right now. And he's like, no, I invented the fleshlight. Okay. That's right. He's wearing that shirt with pride. Ooh, here's a shirt you might want to buy. It's uh, off of Wish. This guy loves his meth. Maybe it was supposed to say this guy loves his math. And they spelt math wrong, and now it's a meth head shirt. This guy loves his meth. Again, why would you want to wear that around? Maybe if it was like a joke and you don't actually like meth, but if you actually smoke meth and you're just like, I do love my meth. They knew this was the perfect Christmas present for me. You know, the scabs all over me would tell you that I love my meth, but the shirt now really solidifies it. Fuck, don't do meth, guys. It's a scary-ass drug. I know Breaking Bad makes it seem so glorified and awesome. Actually, it doesn't. It makes It's, it's shit. Don't do it. Don't do hard drugs. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do the hardies. Don't do the hard drugs. On the weekends, I hook up with big girls who swallow. Oh, and you're here with your daughter and your wife, I'm assuming? I'm sorry, but those shirts need to be retired once you have children. Look, I used to wear funny joke shirts like that in high school, but once you get to a certain age, I feel like they need to be retired. You can wear them, but then also once you have children, 
you basically have a buffer zone until your children can read. And then you can't wear shirts like that anymore. That's the serious cutoff time is when your children can read the gross shirt that you have on. That's the cutoff right there. All right. You got to wear shirts like this now, like Papa Bear. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, because I'm a dad. All right, what else we got here? We got one last shirt here. Oh, the butt snorkeler shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe that's a real profession. He's a butt snorkeler. It's kind of like what they call like a doctor, like a it was a proctologist. Is that what's called a butt doctor? That's a butt snorkeler. They get in there and they figure out the problem. Shopping for dog toys with your butt snorkeler shirt on. I feel worried for your dog actually because you're wearing that shirt. You better not be snorkeling in that dog's butt. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, that's the shirt video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, come up to your screen real quick. I got a little secret for you. <gasps> it's a boop.